I don't sound like a complete psychopath right now or anything. Also, my uncle's dad's cousin's mom's teacher's plumber's uncle's secretary once tried to be anti-animal abuse for a week and ended up in the hospital. Hey, what is up guys? Bacon loving alpha apex predator checking in. Today, I wanna to give a brief defense as to why I am not anti-animal abuse. I just wanna say that people have the right to be anti-animal abuse, that's totally okay, but those people do not have the right to push their anti-animal abuse onto other people who are not anti-animal abuse. Like, there's these anti-animal abuse YouTubers that really piss me the fuck off. To name some, there's that anti-animal abuse teacher, anti-animal abuse gains, Mike the anti-animal abuser, anti-animal abuse gaze, bite-sized anti-animal abuse, lifting anti-animal abuse logic, and many other anti-animal abuse YouTube channels that could be so pushy with their anti-animal abuse message. Directly funding and causing animal abuse is a personal choice. And to be honest, some of these anti-animal abuse activists can be pretty aggressive toward people who fund some of the most aggressive animal abuse on the planet. They're being aggressive toward people who fund aggression toward innocent animals who are shot in the head and stabbed in the throat for a hamburger. Like, to the anti-animal abusers watching, and especially those anti-animal abuse YouTubers I just mentioned, not everybody has to abide by your way of life and be anti-animal abuse. These anti-animal abuse activists just need to learn to live and let live. And by that, I mean they need to learn to live and let others abuse animals. Now, before I go on, I do wanna give a big shout out to two of my favorite anti, anti animal abuse YouTubers. These people are such good people. They've decided to create YouTube channels that are designed to undermine and take down a movement that is designed to reduce animal suffering. How great. So the first one, is anti-animal abuse phobic. So this person has a phobia toward people who want to reduce animal abuse. What an amazing and not weird person. And the other one is called anti-animal abuse deterioration. This person is not toxic whatsoever. What they do is go out of their way to be overly critical over the appearance of people who decide to identify as anti-animal abuse. Their goal is to show that living a lifestyle that seeks to exclude animal abuse is actually unhealthy. How amazing of people are these people? Awesome. All right, so back to my amazing arguments. I identify as a Christian and nowhere in the Bible does it say that I am morally obligated to be anti-animal abuse. Are anti-animal abuse activists just going to not allow religious people to religiously practice animal abuse? I mean, how insensitive is that to religious people? What about the rights of religious animal abusers? Do they not matter? What about different cultures who, you know, culturally practice animal abuse? Why do anti-animal abuse activists think they have the right to abuse religious and cultural people who regularly practice animal abuse? Furthermore, why do I need to be anti-animal abuse when morality is subjective? Like you can't just go around expecting everybody to be anti-animal abuse. People have their own morals. Functioning as somebody who is anti-animal abuse also is just a massive privilege. Not everybody has the resources to not abuse animals. And therefore me, a person who does have the resources to not abuse animals, has no obligation to not abuse animals. All right guys, so here is my absolute favorite argument against the anti-animal abuse movement. The anti-animal abuse movement is such a cult. They are literally against animal sacrifice. Imagine being against animal sacrifice. It really doesn't get any more culty than that. And don't get me started on cheese and bacon. Like I would be anti-animal abuse, but the products I get from abusing animals just taste so good. I don't sound like a complete psychopath right now or anything. Also, my uncle's dad's cousin's mom's teacher's plumber's uncle's secretary once tried to be anti-animal abuse for a week and ended up in the hospital. People in the anti-animal abuse movement are required to take a B12 supplement and I would much rather get my B12 from directly abusing animals. Anti-animal abuse people don't get any protein. The anti-animal abuse movement is also putting people out of work whose jobs literally just require and involve animal abuse. They've also forgotten that lions commit animal abuse and therefore we have the right to as well. Like why would I, 
a human with the level of cognition necessary to act better than a lion, decide to not abuse animals in the way that a lion does. You know what else these anti-animal abuse activists are forgetting? They're forgetting that it isn't animal abuse, period, that is problematic. It is just animal abuse on factory farms that is problematic. Raising animals nicely and then abusing them at the end of their life is okay. And most importantly, there are many issues out in the world that are much more important than animals being perpetually abused over and over and over and suffering and dying for mere human taste pleasure. Guys, do I really need to continue? How obvious is it that the anti-animal abuse movement is just so fucked? Oh, sorry, one last thing I totally forgot. Anti-animal abuse food just doesn't taste as good as food derived from animal abuse. And anti-animal abuse food is weird and anti-animal abuse overall is just very extreme. All right guys, that is the end of the video. For more anti-anti-animal abuse content, please subscribe, comment, and you know, send this around to any anti-animal abuse activists you know who need a reality check and need to understand that the anti-animal abuse movement is completely fucked. Also, if you would like to support me on Patreon and join my Discord for no more than $1 per month, please consider clicking the link in my description and in the pinned comment and joining my Patreon team and help me take down the anti-animal abuse movement. I will see you in the next video. So this person has a phobia toward people who want to reduce animal abuse. What an amazing and not weird person. And the other one is called anti-animal abuse deterioration. This person is not toxic whatsoever. What they do is go out of their way to be overly critical over the appearance of people who decide to identify as anti-animal abuse. Their goal is to show that living a lifestyle that seeks to exclude animal abuse is actually unhealthy. How amazing of people are these people? Awesome. Dude, even vegans don't get your weird, stupid wannabe sense of irony here. Wh who is your audience? Nobody gets these dumb jokes. Dude, even vegans don't get your weird, stupid,